Hello, dear students. Welcome to science lesson. In today's lesson, we will talk about dissolving materials in water. Now, let's look at table of contents for today. So, today's table of contents is what is dissolving, soluble substances, insoluble substances, temperature, and practice. Now, guys, let's look at the some solids that we have on this slide. Let's try to identify them. So, we have here coffee, sugar, salt, rice, and pasta. Now, guys, can you please tell me how can we tell the difference between these two solids, sugar and salt? Please pause the video and think about the answer. For sure, we can taste them, but can we taste unknown substances? So, some substances can be dangerous and poisonous, so be careful while tasting them. Now, guys, let's look at the pictures carefully. So, we took a glass of water, added a teaspoon of sugar in water, we stirred water with sugar, and at the last picture, we see that sugar has disappeared. How do you think? Where the sugar has gone? Pause the video and think about it. So, guys, why cannot we see the sugar in the last picture? Did you know? Well, the sugar has dissolved in water. But wait, what is dissolving? Let me tell you. Dissolving is the process of mixing substances in water. So, when a substance is added to water, it seems to disappear. But actually, it is mixed in water and creates a solution, which is a transparent liquid. Guys, there are two types of substances – soluble substances and insoluble substances. Soluble substances are the ones that can dissolve in water. The example of soluble substances are salt and sugar. The insoluble substances are the ones that cannot dissolve in water. So, when you add sand, flour or pepper to water, you will see the grains of these substances in water. These substances cannot be dissolved in water, so they are called insoluble substances. Temperature plays an important role in dissolving substances. Temperature can affect particles and the speed at which substances dissolve. Salt, for example, can dissolve quicker in a hot water than in a cold water. So, guys, it's time to practice. Please look at the substances and predict which of them will dissolve in water and which of them will not dissolve in water. You may pause the video to think about the answers. Now, guys, I would like to share with you an experiment that we can do right now. So, here we have three different substances. In the first cup, I have sugar. In the second, I have salt. And in the third cup, I have oil. So, we will add the same amount of water to each substance and stir it. And after, we will see which of the substances will dissolve and which of them will not dissolve in water. So, let's try. So, we add the same amount of water in each cup. The first goes the sugar and the second will be salt. And in the last one, oil. Let's now stir them. Thank you. 
So guys, we start water with these three substances and let's see what we have in the result. In the first cup, there, is, there was uh, sugar, in the second there was salt, and in the third one was oil. Now, let's see which one dissolved, which one didn't dissolve in water. So, here is the result. In the first cup, as you can see, we don't see any sugar. So, sugar has disappeared. And as we may know, sugar is a soluble substance. So, do we see any sugar here? I don't think so. Sugar has absolutely disappeared in water. So, it is dissolved in water. Now, let's look at the second cup. Here was salt and we also don't see here salt. Salt has absolutely disappeared in the water. Salt dissolved in water. Do you see any grains of salt here? No. It dissolved in water. Now the third cup. In the third cup there was oil. But we started with water and as you can see the oil is floating on the top of the water and it doesn't seem to disappear. It's still in the water so it didn't dissolve. Now guys let's check your answers. As you can see in the first picture flour will not dissolve. Sand will not dissolve as well. Sugar will dissolve in water. Coffee will also dissolve in water. And as we understood from our experiment, oil, pepper, sand, they are insoluble substances. They didn't dissolve in water. Hope your answers were correct. If so, well done. That is the end of today's lesson. Today we learn about dissolving materials in water. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Goodbye.